All right, we're taking a nostalgia trip. Uh, this is actually a video that got uploaded about a week ago or so, or like, yeah, almost a week and a half ago. However, um, basically, I actually reacted to the second. The, I actually reacted to a video by Peanut Butter Gamer Princess Maker Two. That video no longer exists. I actually deleted it off my channel. It was actually on my main channel and not my reaction channel before I removed it from YouTube. But yeah, we got Princess Maker 3 by Peanut Butter Gamer, which is what we're reacting to. Um, I'm excited. I actually have not reacted to a PBG video in like forever. So I'm very excited for this. Anyway, I'll leave a link in the description so you guys can go watch it. That's uh, that's pretty much it. I'll click play on this bad boy in 3, 2, 1. Uh, Bamroni. Previously on Princess Maker 2 video. Big dead. I've become an adult now, but to put it blatantly, I'm not really thankful towards you. <laughs> I remember this. Gosh dang it. <laughs> and so, Pibu left the kingdom in shame, and no one heard from him again. Until... The second one was so long ago, I didn't even realize. Okay, that's probably the reason. Wow. The transition. On the first Princess Maker video, which was Princess Maker 2, confusingly. Hey, I was originally gonna make this video, the second Princess Maker video, be Princess Maker 5, so it's not nearly as convoluted as I could have made it. Uh, you're welcome. Last time our daughter so didn't go so literally so much. Good. Holy crap. Well, God himself may be disappointed in me. No real surprise there. <laughs> but the fairy queen is willing to give me a second chance at daughtering. Either that or she never actually heard about the first one. I'm not really sure, to be honest. Let's... Let's just keep it quiet, just in case. Either way, we are getting another daughter, and I'm determined to make it work this time. Princess Maker 3! For some reason, the Steam version of this game doesn't show an intro, but I know there is one because I've seen it on YouTube. But unfortunately, I couldn't find a translated version, so I'll just have to give you my own personal interpretation. Oh, no. Once upon a time, there was a place. In that place, there was a lady who said some stuff in Japanese <laughs> language. That lady was the... Fairy Queen, I'm presuming. The Fairy Queen had lots of Fairy Queen little ones, and they, one of them, one day said to the Fairy Queen, Hey, I want to be a human person t uh, today, okay? No, you can't. It's not a very good idea because... Uh, but I want to go! It's what I always dreamed of doing! Can I go, Mom? I was screaming until you let me go! Ah! Right, fine, god dang. Let's go get out of here. Let's go. I found this guy I know. Okay, I don't really know him. He's just, I just saw him laying there. He didn't seem like he was really doing anything. So you could just go live with him for like eight years. The end. I mean, Incredible. the beginning. Starting now. Let's go. First things first, we've got to name our new daughter. And we don't want her to get picked on or anything, so let's make sure we name her something good. How about... Pabooner. Pabooner. Hey, fairy girl <laughs> likes it. I mean, she doesn't know anything about the human world uh, at all, but... Uh, yeah, it's, it's fine. Of course, my sure, name is Pibu again. I've got our birthdays and our blood types, which apparently matters for some reason. And this time, I also get to choose an occupation for myself. You can choose ah. from merchant, wandering monk, retired knight, traveler, fallen noble, or juggler clown, which is obviously what I'm gonna go with. Hey, it's a valid yes. occupation, okay? I don't want to hear any criticism. <laughs> don't mock my art. You, the clown. We will not, Pibs. You're great at this. Uh, yeah. That would be me. I am indeed the clown who desires the origin or mode of formation of something. Right here. Present. Good morning. What a refreshing morning it is. Our girl is in a good mood today as well. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's in a great mood. Okay. From the very little I've read about this game online, hair, your daughter's initial mood is different based on which profession you choose. So, I guess by the looks of it, she's not too impressed with my clowning. Uh, do you know what happens to little girls who don't appreciate the family business? They die. Execute! <laughs> 
Oh, excuse me. I guess we can't just execute our daughter right away. We have to set the schedule for execution first. Uh, my bad. I've never played this game schedule before. Schedule so it I for, like, really tomorrow or in, work. like, five yeah. minutes. Just like the second game, we have to plan out our daughter's schedule. We can either send her to study, we can give her free time, or my favorite option, we can put her to work. And depending yes. on what you choose, her various stats will either go up or down. I really want to do better than last time, so I'm going to do my best to make sure Pabooner can have a fulfilling life and study as much as possible. <laughs> we can send her to classes succeed. like cooking class learn cooking to become a homely type of girl i'm not positive that's the best word to use for the english translation but um it's whatever <laughs> etiquette class learning about traditional manners is girls accomplishment and diet center well it's like a diet class. One would assume that a dieting class would involve learning about nutrition or maybe exercising or something but uh nope diet class also known as the fasting studio is just a room where the kids sit and watch the teacher eat. That's it. Bruh. That's all they do. Uh, why exactly am I paying money for this? Gee, <laughs> he certainly likes being a hot dog. I agree. On the first <laughs> video, I tried to force our daughter, Pabuna, to do whatever I wanted her to do. Well, that didn't work so well, so this time I'm gonna try something different. I'm gonna be the cool dad. I'm, I'm back. Hi. I my dad glasses. I was gonna put on something cooler, but I'm already cool just the way I am. I'm fine with anything. I'm chill. Pabooner can do whatever the heck she wants. Um, father, I have a favor to ask. I want to go to a martial arts school. Will that be all right? Is that a no or a yes? Seven is Vietnam War flashbacks. <laughs> Not that, sweetie. Anything but that. Eh, she's taking it pretty well. How about we have her try something more pleasant like dancing? Sure, the instructor is a little creepy and a tad bit too familiar with Pabooner, and he eventually starts coming to my house to see her when I'm not around, which again... He is a pedophile. A creepy. Sir, please stop winking at my daughter. She is 12. But hey, just look at this! That's nice! Man, I don't want to get ahead of myself, but so far everything's going great. We're out of money! <laughs> hey, this isn't my fault, I'm doing my best out here. I know this might come as a surprise to some of you, but... Professional clown juggling isn't the highest paying job in the world, okay? If you you guys you guys could come to some of my shows, you know? Every day 5 p.m. in the town square. I I take tips! I still don't know exactly how this game works, but it seems like the wandering performer profession doesn't make much money. Every time I get a measly paycheck, Fairy Girl shows up and says, It's a result of your high endeavor. Thank you for your hard work. Would you get that little smirk off your face? I may <laughs> be a professional fool, but I know when I'm being made fun of. How dare you mock the ancient art of juggle! I'm not really sure what the upside of choosing it is, or if there even is an upside. I'm kind of convinced that there isn't. You know what, Pabooner? I just Started decided. Safe you're file. not carrying your weight around here. We need to get back to the ideal family structure. The 10-year-old daughter supports the family financially, and the father smiles at her for her birthday once a year. No, seriously. That's the only birthday present option we can afford right now. And we can only afford it because it costs no money at all! In the last video, I joked about making your daughter work in the mines. Well, in this video, she actually can. So, of course, we have to try that one. I'm sure she's gonna do great. Okay, she's I take dead. it back. She's not gonna do great. She literally sucks <laughs> at everything. How could you actually do such a bad job? It's almost impressive. Number of days worked diligently. Zero out of 13. <laughs> How can you actually do such a bad job? She was so bad, he had to say it twice. Aww. And not only do we have no money, she also has yet to stop making this face at me. What's your problem? Is having a traveling, Dear juggling flow. clown father who's hundreds of gold in debt that makes you do gruesome manual labor not good enough for you? I tried multiple times to give her some free time to make her happy, but you can't control what she does in her spare time, and it almost always involves spending money that we uh, don't uh... have. Oh well, at least she seems to like her birthday present. Clown smile. Nah. And she finally cracked a smile, too. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, Pabooner. And so... 
<laughs> and so some time passed. Pabooner kept working in the mines. And just trust me, she really, really likes it. Yep. She doesn't even get crushed by rocks quite as much as she used to. And there was a cave in at the mines, and some people got trapped and maybe died. But she was fine. She got out. And what are the chances of it happening again? Probably not very high. She entered some festival contests, but she definitely didn't win because we don't have money for co uh, for, for classes for any of those things. Yes. And also, she had some mining dust all over her body so she couldn't be pretty i guess i don't know and after almost dying multiple times she i mean we i was involved in this finally got out of debt yeah all right we can finally send pabooner back to dance class i'm pretty sure she really likes it oh and shy god it's hard to dance. Oh, and shy god. It's hard to dance. It's also hard to speak English. And it's only 13 gold. That's not too bad. Considering the first couple of years of the game, I couldn't even buy her a handkerchief. A freaking handkerchief. I think I can fork over a little bit of money for a few dance classes to make up for it. Would you look at that? She's having so much fun. We're broke again. So it turns out that classes aren't 13 gold a week. They are 13 gold a day. I didn't know that. Back to work! I can't lie, I'm having a much harder time making money in this game compared to the last one. I think part of it is definitely my career choice at the beginning, but at least part of it is the lack of one of the main features from the last game, the Aaron Tree. Princess Maker 2 had a sort of classic RPG mode. You explored different areas, fought monsters, found treasure, stuff like that. It wasn't just an easy way to make some extra gold, but also a welcome change of pace from all the daughter raising stuff. Well, we gotta work with what we have, and what we have to work with is... Work, work, yeah. work, work. <laughs> Just look at all that money. I mean, this is all for you, dear. Just hand it over, though. Wait, what? Pabooner is sick? What have uh -oh. I done? I got so greedy that I let my own daughter get sick. And she's getting dumber by the second. She got <laughs> so sick that her brain is starting to rot. Oh, no. Man, gotta do better. It's not enough to just be the cool dad. I've got to spoil her. That's the lesson to learn from this. Pabooner, whatever you want, you get. Oh, no. You want that teddy bear? It's yours. You want some time off? No problem. And since we finally have a decent amount of money after the first few years, we can even go on some vacation. <laughs> Aw, yeah. My favorite vacation activity. Hanging out with a bunch of, bunch of possibly rampant raccoons. How relaxing. And I've even bought her some new clothes. And not only is she not sick anymore, she's also finally smiling at me for the first time in just nice. under three years. And just look at her. She's so freaking cute. In fact, she's so cute now that they won't even let her work at the mines anymore. She was literally fired for being too cute. Why? I've actually got some lawyers uh, working on a discrimination lawsuit. We're going to add to our fortune, uh, so I'm okay with it. But seriously, you give a company three years of your life and they fire you because you're too good looking? I know what it is, they're just jealous. She's apparently <laughs> cute enough to be fired from her job, but she's still definitely not cute enough to win any festivals. She's stuck in a weird area somewhere between not cute enough to win contests and ugly enough to work in the mines. But whatever, <laughs> Pabooner is happy now. And all it costs was a whole lot of money. And who needs those stupid, ugly miners anyway? Our beautiful daughter deserves much better child labor options. Mostly, I've been sending her to work as a maid for a rich lady. Not only does it pay better, she even gets to sleep on the job, making Papa proud. Yeah. Oh yeah, and I took her to church too, but only once. It was boring. You know, <laughs> raising kids isn't really all that hard when it comes down to it. You don't have to worry that much. Kids are resilient. The best way to parent is just to let the kids find their own way. Sometimes kids decide after two <laughs> years if you pay them for dancing lessons that they don't want to do it anymore and that they want to do music instead. That's okay. I mean, they're never going to find themselves if they don't try any, some new things. And the second thing I learned about being a parent is that sometimes your daughter talks to you about her butt. Well... Would someone like a girl with big butts? That's probably my least favorite part about being a parent. Well, eight years have passed and Pabooner has finally grown up. 
Uh, it didn't go quite as well as I was hoping, but it definitely went better than last time, and improvement is really all you can ask for, right? So let's see how we did. Probably not well. Yeah, I just... I... I think I'm in love with you, father. You're marrying your father? Good job. Well, I'm out. Yes, please. <laughs> the end. Why? Hey, thanks for watching. What Hit that the like button. Video. It's much appreciated. Let me know what you are thinking oh. in the comments. And subscribe to see more videos as always. Make sure you hit the bell and uh, hit all notifications. That's very cursed. I don't upload that often, so I probably won't be bugging you that much. I promise. Check out the last Princess Maker 2 video. And uh, if other than that, I'll see you next time. I don't have anything else to say because I'm I'm hungry and I want to go eat. Mama! <laughs> all right. All right. That is it for Princess Maker 3 by Peanut Butter Gamer. I want you guys to go and support Peanut Butter Gamer. I'll put the link to the video in the description so you guys can go check it out. That's all I have to say. Goodbye.